Daddy will help me fix Barbie later. No. Meal deal. Check. Love you. Mom, I owe you one. Galanos, nice of you to show up. Hey, Rosa, sorry, my car. Is clearly a lemon. Didn't I tell you life was too short to buy a brand new car? When would you get it, like a month ago? When I transferred here, yeah. What did the shop say? They said they'd call. Did Luis tell you our 1030 got moved to conference room at? No. Well, now you know, and if you're late to it, you're going to be paying for those car repairs with unemployment checks. Got it? Got it. Hutchison, is that a coffee mug or a flower pot? Looks like the rest of it. Hello? Uh, hey, Mr. Gonzalez. It's Galanos. Uh, yeah, hi. We took a look at your car. Here's the solenoid got fried, and that's why it's not starting. Looks like the uh, wires connecting the solenoid to the battery are smaller gauge than they should be. It's not common, but it happens. It's a brand new car. You're telling me the manufacturer used the wrong wires? Yep. Sometimes they'll put a part in there that works well on paper, but fails in the field. <sighs> OK. Any idea what that's going to cost me? A whole heck of a lot less than the warfighter in the field, I can tell you that much. 20 years in the service taught me that little things become big things at 30,000 feet. Your car not starting in the driveway is one thing. Jet fighter falling out of the sky is another, am I right? Uh. Now, the wrong wire connected to the solenoid, if discovered in plant, would have to be reviewed by contractor personnel above the installer level to determine if it needs to be replaced with the correct wire or if it could be dispositioned as a use-as-is non-conforming material. But I think it's fair to say the uh, technical analysis used to support the use as is disposition in this case was ill-advised. Wouldn't you agree? Gus Staniford, seems like your new car isn't the only thing that can use my help, Mr. Gonzalez. You ready to learn more about non-conforming materials? It's Galanos. 